Pope was not letting people do anything in Europe. No scientific books to be found in the homes. No Bible to be found in the home. That is why when Gutenberg started printing Bible and all those stuff in the history of Renaissance, he was a supporter and a participant in it. Then people started realizing how many errors, how many mistakes are in the Bible. People don't know. They didn't know for thousands of years people were in haze. Whatever Pope says, the vicar of Christ, we have to believe. But my respected viewers, uh, fellow brethren and sisters, once this Pandora box was opened in the past, people came to know critical analysis, critical studies of Bible. And then they came to know how many discrepancies, how many adulterations, interpolations, concoctions were happened in the Bible, in the history of Christian doubt. But who catches the joke? A layman? You have a bunch of laymen in the past, in the dark ages. And people from Italy, Spain, Germany, they used to come. Where? Well, in Washington, in Harvard University? No, in the University of Spain. University of Cordoba, University of Grenada, Granada, you call it, Portaba. People, the youngsters, the young people, lads, all these freshmen students, they come there, study. And after long years of studying, once they got the opportunity of Renaissance, here comes the blast of knowledge of science in the Europe. Isaac Newton, Newtonian era happened. But the extraction, the inner core was Quranic. It is the Quran who gave the philosophy. See and observe in front of you. Allah says, Wala uqsimu nujum. Innahu azim. Allah says, See, I'm taking the oath of these celestial bodies, stars. And indeed, it is the great oath. This is who is trying to focus. Afala yatatabbarun al Quran, tafakkur, ponder, contemplate. These terminologies were the basically pioneered from the Quran. Allah says, can't you see how the birds fly? I'm making them balanced. Pressure, air pressure, air dynamics. Everything Allah is pointed in the Quran to people to the dabbur. Allah says in one more place, in Surah Ali Imran, if you read from 191, chapter 3, verse 191 to last verse, 200. Allah mentioned the people who ponder and look at the stars in the night and the fakkur about me, about God Almighty. Allah says, I will do rahmah on the judgment. Meaning, you have to tafakkur. You have to see the creation. Allah says in one Surah Al-Baqarah, there is a long verse about the ships, how they are stable on those or Archimedes principle. About many things in the Quran, how the people day and the night and night and the day, the shifting of sun, everything. Uh, of all kind of natures of scientific studies are mentioned in the Quran. So Muslim scientists did avail that. But of course, every rise of the nation has also a fall. It's time to get fallen. 